It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. It's time to review a beer from Sainsbury's. Picked up last week, exactly a week ago actually, and it's by Mad Squiddle. This is their Big C IPA, coming in at 440 milliliter can at 5.5% ABV. Unhinged hops, Simcoe, Citra and Chinook. These guys are based Hertfordshire, pot and end, Hertfordshire, lovely, I bet it's fantastic there. Never been, I'd like to go, visit the brewery, maybe, maybe visit their tap room, drink some of their great beer. Uh, I'm a big fan, always really smiley, lovely people, mad squirrel. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. So... I see there, well, let's, let's have a look at the beer first. We can talk about the lovely people at Mad Squirrel later on. There we go. So we got a two finger white head, slow moving carbonation, hazy straw colored beer. Looks really good. Really, really good. Let's get the aroma. There's no sediment in the bottom. They might be in the can. We haven't got there yet. We'll get the rest in, in a moment. So the can cost me £3.50. And you can buy this on a four for three deal at Sainsbury's if you've got a nectar card. It's got this, it's a tiny bit of the yeast coming through. It's got this tiny kind of funkiness going on. In, in a very good way, in a very good way. It's a combination of a little bit of sweet malt. It's quite hoppy, kind of. Bit of grapefruit, bit of orange peel, bit of pineapple, bit of mango. But it's also got this kind of slight estuary. That's the yeah, that's what I was looking for. A slight estuary kind of fruity yeast aroma coming through. Smells okay. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. I like that. Oh, yes. It's a little bit West Coast. Yeah, it's a little. Oh, now then, Mad Squirrel, you've got my attention. Now, I've been very vocal. Hang on a minute, look at that. Talking about that kind of yeasty, estery flavour, it's because there's a lot of yeast in the can. You can see, look at the sediment in the bottom there. That's a proper can conditioned beer right there. I could tell, I could taste that kind of slight estery, fruity flavour coming through and you can, you can see it now in the beer. But I've always been slightly more West Coast IPA than I've been New England. I got on the New England trend. I liked the New England trend for a while. 
I mean, give me a good New England IPA from someone like Treehouse or Trillium or Cloudwater or Verdant, Polly's. Yeah, great. Fantastic. Great beer. But I also like a West Coast IPA. I like that kind of bitterness that bites through on the back end. So the difference very quickly between East Coast IPA, New England IPA, is that they've kind of pulled back on the bitterness. Whereas West Coast of America IPA, they, they kind of put a few hops in the boil and they're boiling those hops. And when you boil hops, you get that bitterness through. And I like that. I've always liked that in beer. And to an extent, you get a, a little bit of that punchy bitterness on the back end here. This is really good beer. I, I remember where I was now in my conversation. I've been very vocal in how uneasy I am with the direction of supermarket craft beers going. The price keeps creeping up. Well, where are we now? £3.50 for a can of craft beer. Some of it's okay. Some of it I find undrinkable and I'm pouring it down the sink. But, but, there is, you know, when breweries like Mad Squirrel bring out beers like this, there's still hope. There's still hope. There's still like, oh, let's have a little look down the beer aisle. Let's see if there's anything new. Or, of course, if you're on social media and you see that there's a big drop from Sainsbury's or Asda or Tesco or Morrison's, sometimes Lidl or Aldi, then there's a tendency to to go and have a look and see what's there. And I think it's down to you guys as buyers, people who buy the beer, to, to, to try and work out which is good and which is bad. And, and and when you, I know it doesn't sound much, but when you're playing around with £3.50, I used to chuck all the cans in my trolley whenever they had a big drop, something like Sainsbury's or, or Tesco. Put them all in your trolley. You're buying 10 cans, that's £35. And of course you're buying other things in the supermarkets as well. So your bill, your bill can quickly go up to like 70, 80, 90 pounds and you've only got a few things in your trolley and you're thinking, mm. you know, so the beer's gotta be good. The beer has to be good. Thankfully, this is. It's really juicy, really tropical. Tropical in a really nice way, in a hoppy way. Not like a an adjuncty tropical, like concentrated ice cream flavorings. There's none of that in here. This is all hops. I want to quickly talk about the nice people, people at Mad Squirrel because I promised to, didn't I? So, um, London Craft Beer Festival, um, what was they called it? Brew London. Brew London, I went a couple of years ago. Uh, Mad Squirrel had their little truck there and they open the side door on the truck, they connect their kegs, and then they got a bar on the side of the truck. But I just remember how lovely they were and how friendly they were, and, and you, you could approach, they were very approachable, very, very approachable um, as, a, as a brewery, and they talked to you for as long as you wanted to talk to them about their beer. So if you ever see Mad Squirrel's truck at a beer festival, head to it, they're lovely. So, rating for Big C IPA then, Hang on. Big C. Ah, I, I thought there was going to be all the C's in the, in the hops. They've got um, Citra and Chinook, but they've got Simcoe as well, uh, which starts with an S. I thought they were being quite clever then with the, with the C's. Rating. Fantastic, that. Well worth my £3.50. Very happy. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from me, Low Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.